So before we start putting this whole system together, I want to start with the um, with the human interface hardware. So the mouse and the keyboard, that's, that's the big thing right now to get started, and then uh, we'll work our way up from there. So you probably saw this in the teardown. Uh, this is the uh, this is the mouse module. It is a track point style mouse. So it's got this little uh, this little uh, track point uh, nib here in the middle, and then you know left and right buttons here on the side. And so when it's on there, um, when it's on the machine on the outside of the case, you you move the little nib there with the middle finger, and then you have a left and a right click on the either side. Um, so I want to replicate this as closely as possible. So this has come apart. This is the actual works inside. So this is your little uh, mouse uh, nub, track point, stick pointer thing. Um, and it communicates to this little microcontroller here, I assume, um, and translates all that into mouse movement. Essentially what you've got here is a pair of strain gauges. So it's an analog, um, it's an analog value coming out uh, based on the amount of displacement on the x and the y axes. Uh, now the problem I have here is uh, this is going to be really hard to interface with. It's just these four. Um, I don't really have a good way to interface with these guys and be able to really tell uh, what's going on. And this is really fragile too, so. I'm going to kind of wing it a little bit. So instead of using this guy, I'm going to use one of these little um, analog thumbstick uh, controllers, one of these little joysticks here uh, from Adafruit. So I've got this, and we're going to pair that with a uh, 32U4 feather board that I've got left over from the Project Quick Shot. That was the, the NES Zapper. If you want to watch that video, that's at element14.com forward slash presents as well under Project Quick Shot. Um, so we're going to put this together. We're going to get a, a little bit of a, a mouse going on. So same idea as this. It's still going to be moving the mouse across the screen, you know, based on displacement. Uh, but just a little better hardware, a little easier to work with, and a little less fidgety. So let's get started on that. I need to um, I need to solder some breakouts together to get this thing on a breadboard, and let's see. Where we go. Okay, so I got this breadboarded and uh, wrote a little Arduino sketch here uh, that basically turns this uh, this joystick into a, a touch point, a track point uh, style pointer mouse thingy. Um, so just a quick uh, rundown of the code here. Uh, we are going to include the uh, mouse library, uh, define a few buttons, uh, define a few pins for those buttons. Um, first thing we're going to do is actually, uh, actually have a, um, calibration sequence in here on this one. Uh, probably should have put that in, uh, Project Quick Shot, but I didn't think about it. <laughs> so, I mean, 2.0, whatever. Um, so, have this, uh, quick little calibration sequence here. It takes five seconds, it reads the analog pins, they should be roughly the same, like 511, 512, somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, and then um, determines their value, averages it out, and finds that that's the zero point uh, for the center. Uh, do, 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 do. Turn the mouse on, and then we have um, same as with uh, Project Quick Shot and the Air Mouse. Uh, this time, though, we have two buttons. We have left and right buttons, so we are going to be checking each of those uh, for uh, being depressed. And if they're depressed, we will talk to them and tell them how, how, uh, how uh, fantastic they are and 
how uh, how important they are to us. And and anyway, um, so there, that's uh, check the mouse button, and then of course um, our little uh, move mouse. Uh, it just reads the analog value, does a little math to it, and as we move the joystick, it moves the cursor very nicely. So there you go. So we'll get this put into the Zybernaut. So then we got uh, a keyboard, uh, we have the uh, head-mounted display to work on, and a couple of uh, just um, uh, cosmetic things to worry about right there, and of course the operating system as well. So let's get on to those. <laughs> 